everyone, so today's video is just going to be on what you need for it. So I hope this video helps you out if you are definitely getting a hamster, if you're considering one, or if you're just interested. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll just get in straight so firstly, you're going to need a cage. You're going to have bin cages, like what's here, tank style cages, DIY cages, barred cages, plastic cages, all sorts. So make sure you do your research before you decide what sort of cage is best for you and your hamster. Popular ones include the Detolf, the Lack, the Barney, the Alexander, bin cages like what's here, the Alaska and there's plenty more out there. So there is quite a range. You just have to make sure you get one that's big enough and that's suitable. The minimum in the UK is 75 by 40 centimetres. In the US it's 360 square inches and Germany have two minimums. The first one is if you can't quite reach the second one and the first one is 100 by 50 centimetres and the second one is 100 by 100 centimetres and I know quite a few people that choose to go by the German one. So then you're going to need some food. Hamsters need a muesli mix that's made up of all sorts of different seeds and nuts and stuff like that. Two popular ones include the hairy hamster, and in the US and Canada it's called hazel hamster, and the Burgess super hamster ones. Burgess have two, they have the super hamster hamster harvest and the dwarf hamster harvest. So you can feed, it doesn't really matter like what you feed your hamster, but those two are tailored for each different sort of hamster. So. You can feed just one mix or you can feed a variety or you can add stuff in, it's up to you. I know some people like to add in these science selective nuggets, um, they are quite popular. There's also the pets at home nuggets but these science selective ones are more popular and better quality. Then you're going to need um, things like meat, eggs, fruit and veg as an extra thing for them, like more variety and make sure they get all of their vitamins, minerals and stuff like that and it's just a nice thing to give them. Then they're going to need a food bowl. You need at least one for their food mix and you can have an extra one to put the extra things like vegetables and that in there and you need to make sure it's big enough so your hamster can sit in it as they like to sit on their food as like a protective thing and also ceramic ones are better so they can't tip them over and they can't chew it either. Then you need a water bottle. Um, bowls aren't really recommended because if they fall in they can catch a chill and if they dig then they can get substrate in it and it's quite messy. But I know a couple of people that have used bowls successfully but bottles are recommended more and personally I prefer to use bottles. I think they're just more convenient and they're easier to keep clean and stuff. So I'd say the minimum size you need is 75 millilitres and then you can use the 150 millilitre ones as well but I think anything above that is just like very excessive as they won't drink that much. Then you need some sort of substrate that's just the bedding that goes on the base of the cage. So you can use Wood shavings, Fitch, Megazorb, Finicard, Carefresh, personally I don't really like Carefresh, um, it's up to you though, and you just need to make sure there's low dust in there. If you live in America and Canada they have three types of shavings which is pine, cedar and aspen. The pine and cedar ones have toxic phenols in them and they are way too dusty so you should really use those, and fleece like material this sort of stuff shouldn't be used either as the fi fibres are very harmful to hamsters and um, causes lots of dangers. Personally I like to use wood shavings, I just find them to be the cheapest one and I use the ones for horses, I prefer them much more to the ones designed for small pets, there's very little dust in them as horses have extremely sensitive respiratory systems and you get big bales and they last much longer, it just works out cheaper and they're much better quality too. We get a bale for 8 75 and that lasts quite a while for the hamsters, the gerbil, the rats, the rabbits, the guinea pigs, the ferrets and yeah, there are the animals that have it. So it just lasts 
around a month and a half. So then you're going to need a hide. You can use plastic ones, wooden ones. In the summer, ceramic ones are pretty good, like um, terracotta pots. So there's loads out there. And you can get these sort of Savix Sputniks. And they go on the bottom. Or if you've got bird cage, you can hang them up too. So I quite like those ones. And wooden ones look really nice. Here's one I've got here. Um, there's just a tree on there and it's got a little window. And I think this house is adorable. And my friend Rosie got me both of these. So I do really like them. So thank you again for those. And it just depends on what you like and what you think would be better for you and your hamster then you're going to need some sort of nesting material paper is the most common one the safest one you can use loo roll kitchen towel you can buy paper bedding in shops don't ever use fluffy bedding please it causes so many issues with many animals it kills so many small pets every year i will link a website about it in the description so you can go read up on that Please avoid it at all costs, it's terrible. Then you're going to need a wheel. Hamsters run around 8 miles each night, so they do need a wheel to be able to run that amount in a domesticated environment. The minimum for a dwarf or Chinese hamster is 6 inches, which is the one here. Um, Roborowski hamsters can sometimes fit onto a 4.5 inch, however 6 inch is just recommended more. Then the minimum for a Syrian hamster is between 8 inches and 12 inches, it depends if you've got quite a large Syrian or quite a small one. Um, Almond has an 8 inch here, which is the Trixie one. Hello. <laughs> As he's quite a small Syrian, so it just depends on the size really. You need to make sure you get the wheel size right, as if they're in the wrong size wheel, then their back can curve and that can cause spinal issues. And also, if you're getting a pair of hamsters, the only ones you can have in pairs are the Russians and the Robos. You need a wheel per hamster, as that just helps you reduce any sort of fighting that happens. Then you're going to need some chews. Hamsters' teeth continuously grow, like most rodents, so they need a variety of wood chews to help wear them down. Some hamsters just don't chew, they're not interested at all. So then they need some hard biscuits to help wear down their teeth. And treats like marabone rolls work well with that. So here there's just a carrot chew, these from Wilco, Corny the Owl, a piece of an aerated block, a Burgess gnaw stick, and then this piece of African Mapani wood from Donnell. Then you need cleaning supplies, you can use loo roll, kitchen towel, dustpan and brush, <coughs> some scoops, these aren't really essential though, bags. And disinfectant, you can buy ones or you can make your own using 50% white vinegar or 50% water. Then you need a travel case for transporting your hamster to the vets. Or if you go on holiday, you need to transport your hamster in a travel case. If you can't fit your cage in the car, like, assembled. Yeah, you can buy one or you can make your own. I've got a video on how to make one, so I'll link that in the, in the um, description. And then you need some treats. They aren't really 100% essential, but they do give your hamsters more variety. They help with the taming process. As mentioned previously, hard biscuity ones help to wear down the teeth. So they are just something that I would say, like that I would recommend. So this is something you don't need, but you might just want for your hamster. I definitely recommend this. It's a litter tray. Um, hamsters are quite easy to litter train, and. I definitely recommend it because it will just make your life easier like with cleaning it out and it will keep your hamster's cage a lot cleaner so then you're going to need some litter which is what I've got here so here I have um, cat litter crystals these are so good I highly recommend them they are my favorite litter to use um, as you can see they're just like white crystals with a few blue bits lasts a long time it's so good at odor control and they're just really good so i definitely recommend those then another thing i'd recommend is a sand bath um you can't give hamsters baths with water as that can strip off the natural oils of the coat which can cause a chill which can cause death so not very good 
So a sand bath is definitely a great way to clean your hamster's coat. Use chinchilla sand, not dust. Dust can cause respiratory problems. Um, or you can use children's play sand like what's here. But um, you do have to sanitise it. And then you're going to need a bowl or tub, something big enough for your hamster to roll around in. Candy Tuft has a quite big sand bath, I guess, in this third of her Datolf. And she just likes to run around, dig, have the occasional little roll around. So I definitely recommend them because it's quite entertaining to watch them. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped you out. So I'll see you next time. Bye.